Come on in, let's do an easy one today, guys. Let me pin my website on the bottom here. Uh -huh. Boom, pin. There we go. There we go. So we're going to have some french fries again. Because I had some potatoes, potatoes, potatoes that I skinned. And I had it in the fridge in a bag. And I was like, I have to use those before they go bad. So we're going to make some french fries. We're going to make some little sliders on these Hawaiian Kings rolls. I'm um, going to be using jackfruit as our meat. So uh, this is the, what we're using, green jackfruit and water. Um, all of our ingredients we have here. Um, our two seasoning blends we're going to be using tonight are our no-salt go-to. I'm sorry, no-salt onion, uh, black pepper, and our Tex-Mex blend. But well, we got a little Worcestershire sauce. We got a little um, vegetable um, vegetable fat or oil. Um, we have some crushed red pepper. We have a little bit of smoked paprika and liquid smoke. Yep, and our slaw is going to be simple. Um, we're going to be doing a little mayo, a little cabbage, a little carrot, um, some sugar. Uh, we got some salt, onion, black pepper, and some celery seed, and a little onion, and a little bit of onion, and some apple cider vinegar. That's going to be a simple slaw. So, what's up, babe? We are live. Say hi to everybody. Thank you for the hundred stars. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this party started. Ew. Let's get this party started. Uh huh. That smells good already. The Welcome everyone. How y'all doing? Real simple one today. Should not take us that long, even though we're making three separate things. Um, we're gonna start making these uh, this this uh, slaw, so it can sit in there and just pickle a tiny bit. Um, beautiful wife on. is doing our fries. She's making them super skinny. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to make them that skinny. I do. No, I promise you. They're going. I don't want them to be potato chips and all crunchy. Oh. But it's okay. But it's okay. You do your thing. You do your thing. You do your thing. We had some potatoes that we had uh, and some cold water in the fridge for, I don't know, was it an hour? Hour, hour and a half maybe? Mm -hmm. Hour, hour and a half maybe? Um, we are going to um, uh, partially cook those, take them out, and then finish them up so we get nice and crispy. But how's everyone doing? Uh, we got our, can our cameraman. Cameraman. Yes, sir. Want to get on the job or what? <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to get cameraman on here so I can get the chippity chopping. You got to get the jackfruit on. Yeah, I have to get the jackfruit on so we can start. We're going to give that about 10, 12 minutes of, uh, of boil time. There you go, good sir. People, hold on. I wasn't prepared. Need some water. Come on. Much better. Nah, <clears throat> there's a little bit of nasal issues still. All right, let's see what we got here. What we got here. How's everybody doing today? And before y'all ask, no, I'm not 100%. Been to the doctor, 
they just said pretty much here, take this code in and be better. That was it. Thank you for all the shares. I see them coming through. Valletta Robinson, thank you for the 200 stars. And Mary Adams asked, do you ever do egg rolls? Yes. Do we? Yes. Uh, we do it. We do so much we had to stop doing egg rolls. We got a bunch of recipes on our website, so definitely go take a look at it and, and review the uh, videos of us making app egg rolls and um, pot stickers. And yep, we do, we do, we do. We got a soul food egg roll even recipe. <laughs> Thank you again for all the shares. We do appreciate it. Asha Whitfield, how you doing? Treshawn Smith, how you doing? Hope I said that right. Wait, nope. Did I, did I just say yeah, that right? Yeah, Treshawn. Okay. I remember that name. Because looking at it again for a second time, like, wait a minute. You're like, man, is this right? Am I saying this right? Yeah. Like I see Trey Eyes. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Check it again. Peggy Brown, how you doing? Ray Bell Johnson, what's going on with you? <laughs> Deborah Little John, okay, I see you. I'm cool with that. And I'm Sherry cool. Williams the third asked, how much liquid smoke? That right here we're using is and the recipe's on our website, it's one teaspoon. A liquid smoke. You gotta be careful with liquid smoke. You can over liquid smoke some things. So I'm gonna start this law real simple um, with um, getting the sugar, the salt, the pepper, and the um, let me put it over here so you guys can see. And the celery seed with that vinegar. You know, go ahead and start getting that bad boy dissolved. I'm just going to get it dissolved here. And we're not making a lot of uh, slaw, just enough slaw to go on our uh, our beautiful little uh, sliders here that we're going to have. So that's going to give us a flavor flav. How you doing, what? Lydia? What? Lydia Hari, how you doing? Lydia, what's up? Good to see you again. How you doing, Ellen Carpenter? I see you. start getting all this stuff in here too. Oops, missed the whole thing. How you doing Deborah Williams and Bonnie L. White? I see a Dawn Alexander. Nicole Lee. I'm still working on it, Nicole. I'm working on it. Shaman Caldwell, thank you for the share. And Nancy Hyman, trust me, I will definitely be careful with it. Now I'm paying Brian, it's just, just that little bit of nasal drip that won't stop. So now when I do cough, it's merely because of the drip. That's all it is, not for any other reason. Mm. He's just floating around me, floating around like, hey, y'all heard y'all had old fruit. Thought I'd come through. I the old fruit on the Thought I'd come through and check you out. And Tina and Adams here. says that jackfruit is her go-to favorite. Okay. It really is. We got about about eight or nine jackfruit recipes on our website. So definitely, if you run out of ideas for your jackfruit, um, just go check the website out. I promise you, we got you covered. Add that in there. You want to get See, this? I'm about to definitely put an affiliate link up for that board if one person asks about it. What? If one person asks about that board, put an affiliate link up. Oh, the yeah, yeah, put an affiliate yeah, link that, up or we something. really do. We really need to get an affiliate link from them. And shame and call. Well, thank you for the 50 stars. Got a Katie Scott from Kitty, Colorado. Okay. Katie Scott from Katy, Colorado? Kitty. Kitty, Kitty, oh. Kitty, Colorado. Okay. 
Boom. But that name just stood out to me. That was weird. Really simple. Nice, easy, quick coleslaw. Of course, um, the longer you keep it in the fridge, the better. Uh, we're going to be having ours in the fridge for as long as it takes us to get our meal together. Well, you're going to get a little, little bit of pickle from there. And you're definitely going to get flavor. Because we made sure we put flavor in there. A real simple coleslaw, guys. How you doing, Velveeta Robinson? <laughs> Zelda E. Bentley, what's going on with you? How you doing, Kimberly May Metz Brown? I see you too. All right, let's get this in the fridge. Paula Wright Campbell, thank you for the 200 stars. Can we put a timer on this thing? I did. Five minutes. And Nicole, what's that? Generette, you're new from South Carolina. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the fam. How you doing, Dorothy Johnson? And Michelle Curry Barton said, I cook Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, and use the green seasoning. Mm. But Michelle, 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 you know I'm going to ask you, right? Where that picture at though? No picture, no dough. It don't exist if a picture ain't take place. You gotta see that magic, people. Gotta see the magic. Okay. Let's see what's so, going on over here. You got Anita over here. She's um par cooking, the par cooking our, our potatoes. They're gonna be in for five minutes. Get them in for about five minutes. We're gonna take them out. We're gonna let them uh, drain a little bit. We got our jackfruit in there, boil them. And that's just gonna get any of that residue kind of, it's got a light flavor um, to it. If you boil it, it'll get that out. Also, if it's brined, so if it's canned in, in salt, this will take the salt out also. So if you're watching your salt in intake, two easy little tricks. Um, and then once we get that done, the next thing we're gonna do is, actually I can start doing that while we're doing this. We're gonna start cooking. No, I can't. I need another eye. Wait till that, that's done. But the next thing I'm going to do is get some a little bit of olive oil, cook our onion that we sliced into slices. And we did this because in slices because we want to mimic a shredded consistency. So when I pull apart the jackfruit, I'm going to also kind of keep it straight. So that way, um, you know, we eat with texture, we eat with our eyes, and we eat with the feel um, before the taste and everything else. So we're going to try to keep as close to a meaty texture once we get these caramelized down a little bit. Um, we're going to hit that up with um, a little bit of, well, once we get the jackfruit in there, we're going to get all these seasons in here. You're going to get fat in here because you need some fat to mimic the fat of meat. So that, that oil is going to do that. You're going to get the flavor in there. We're going to get the seasons in there. The, the barbecue sauce is last, believe it or not. So once we start getting caramelizations, get those seasons and everything kind of getting the right texture, we add the barbecue sauce at the end because you don't want to you don't want to burn it all of course because it got sugar in there and then we serve it. It's so simple and we might tell toast our buns. I don't know. Oh, no, we will. We, 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 She's yeah. gonna say we can toast our buns. We will be toasting. So this is gonna be a simple one, a nice little meal that you can do for your family that they will actually eat because it tastes good and it looks right and it feels right. So. It's shame and Caldwell. Thank you for another fifty stars. <laughs> Asha Whitfield, not too many Y's, only one Y, sweetheart, only one Y. One <laughs> what? She gave me hey with too many Y's, and like, uh-uh, only one Y. Oh, I thought you said uh -uh. too many Y's. That's what I was like, what? Nah, she put hey with three Y's, uh-uh, you can't be doing that. 345 gifts of groceries to date, thank you guys so much. Um, whatever we get tonight, we will be able to um, give some more. Um, thank you for everyone that's been giving um, gifts of patrons. groceries. Thank you. All of our patrons. Thank you for everyone that's giving stars. It is helping people. Um, we are not keeping the stars. They're not people who just giving them because they know us. None of that kind of thing. These are these stars are helping other people out. So we appreciate you guys for that. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Right? And <laughs> Patricia Boston. That's all I'm gonna say about that right now. I'm from Connecticut, never heard of jackfruit. Is it really? a fruit? Yeah, well jackfruit yeah. is a fruit. 
Um, it is a tropical fruit. It grows. It, it, you may have seen them in some international market. It looks kind of bumpy. A big uh, kind of oval, not oval, I guess it's an oblong kind of a fruit with a bumpy, bumpy skin texture. Um, it will grow up to 100 pounds. So at, stayed world yeah, at the at the when they're ripe, they're kind of sweet and they're kind of a mangoey, bananaey kind of consistency and taste. Um, in the unripened state, before it's um, big, it's probably about that that big when they when they uh, when they get them off the tree. Um, the texture is like meat; they're shredded, but they don't taste like anything. And they're so absorbent and they take on any kind of flavor that you cook them with. So it's perfect to get some fiber in your diet, um, a little calcium. I think what is, I know it's definitely fire, fiber. Uh, you get 18% of your fiber in um, two, this is two servings. So you get, and we're doing the whole pan, the whole can is 36% um, percent of your fiber mm -hmm. for the day. And sodium's in there, but we're actually going to be boiling it, so we're going to take that so sodium out or some of the sodium out. But it's really good. It's fibrous. It's it's going to take on the flavor of whatever you cook it with. Very very good. What are we looking at, babe? Shalia Cease, thank you no, for the no, 100 no. stars. Oh, how long was that supposed to be? Oh, 10, 10, Tasha 10, Matthews, I see you from New Orleans. I see you. Mm, let's see. What else do we need to do? We've got. So prepped today, you don't really have and, to do too much of anything. So wait, is that Tarly Wood Clark? Make sure I'm saying your name right, because it's literally T A R R Y L. Let me, let me That's different. It. It's like Daryl with the T. Um, the How you doing, Shirley Turner? Connie Griggs, thank you for the share. Unity Main, it's where you've been, and I ain't see you in a while. Dior Bella, see you. Got a Ina Ward, a Miranda Simpkins, okay. Charlene Latanya Diamond Gange, okay, tell me everything, okay. Mm -hmm. Thomas Hardy, was good, I see you. Tommy. What up, Tommy? Drummer extraordinaire. Well, Tommy, here you go. Say, someone asked me about doing jackfruit pulled pork with my business. Look, watch. We have a recipe on our website, of course. You know that, Tommy. And you can have at it anytime you want. You can use it for your business. We don't have a problem with that. How you doing, Angela Mitchell? And again, if you can't find it at your local grocer, you can definitely find it on Amazon. Trust me. Amazon, international markets. You can find it. Asian market. They will ship it in a okay. can. Yeah. It has to boil for another three minutes. So once this boils, I'm going to run it, a little cold water on it, cool it down. We're going to shred that um, that flesh of the jackfruit, the young jackfruit up. And then we're going to start getting the cook together. So it's super Super simple. Even a boy can do it, like I always say. <coughs> okay, thank you, Katie Scott. It's Kate Kitty from Colorado. Got you. Uh, I like Kitty, Colorado? That's new. Okay. That might be like yeah, that's that the like jackfruit like still boiling up. Uh, the and Tamara Joseph, thank you for the 200 stars. Shante Phillips, I see you. And as y'all know, Miss Green is still out there gallivanting around, living her best life. Like, she ain't got no kids to take care of. Oh, Mom? Mm-hmm. Well, she don't have any kids to take care of. <laughs> she do. Right, She's she actually gonna, visiting kids. We're going to get... Sugar take this Mitchell, off thank now. you for the 50 stars. Oh, Michelle. Sugar Michelle. We're going to take these bad boys here. Felissa Jones Shugs. What is Jack? Jack Daniels. Uh, That's who. All right. Gonna just give it a little rinse to cool it down. Tasha Simmons Rice, thank you for the fifty stars. Yvonne Robinson, thank you for the fifty stars. And okay, Pamela Colbert asks, 
according to your shirt, which superhero are you? I'm all three of them. Sometimes I'm the Hulk. Sometimes I'm Iron Man, and sometimes I'm just Captain America. And Shirley Williams the third. Yes, you can. You can if you want to. You can go through the Cash App right here. Cash App Dollar Sign Cooking with Greens. And once you do that, Anita Green will pop up. And that means we got that. We would take that 25 and we put it to the Gift of Groceries Initiative. We appreciate that. But if you want to become a Patreon, there you go as well. www.patreon.com slash cooking with greens. They go to Jackfruit, people. I mean, initially it don't look too appealing initially, but once you doctor it up, it's nice. Definitely good. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Super, super simple. How you doing, Marisol Lopez? Like I said, there's a few recipes on our website. So um, definitely have at those if you get a chance. Um, from like barbecue, jackfruit, pizza to, um, I'm just trying to think of some stuff that we have. To like um, chicken noodle soup, jackfruit, chicken noodle soup. So. Maritina Woodfield, thank you for the 50 stars. All right, let me get something to put this on just so I can dump this in. You know, let me just use this twice. All right, so this is this is the outer ring of the jackfruit, and this is the inner core. So you, what you'll see in a lot of these sections are seed pods. Um, it's okay. Um, it's just a rounded texture. Um, what I usually do is just squash these because we eat with texture, and we don't want that to mess up the perception of meat but pretty much all you could all you need to do is start shredding it you can use a fork if you want to be more consistent with your shred but as you can kind of see it gives you the consistency of a shredded meat when it's shredded up i just dropped a seed but uh so we're gonna start just shredding this up so forgive me i'm gonna just try to do this as fast as possible Okay, Betty Lumpkin says she ate jackfruit with her Jamaican friends. Okay. Yeah, jackfruit is a sweet, mm -hmm. sweet fruit. So if you had it and it wasn't um, r r like raw, I mean, I guess raw is not the right word, um, unripened, then you probably had it. And if it was a sweet consistency, a sweet uh, taste, it probably was ripe jackfruit. So, you know, you're going to get lots of little shreddy kind of fibrous here and that's why people use this for meat substitute. Allison Gleiner says breadfruit is what we call it in the Caribbean. Breadfruit, okay, mm -hmm. I'll take that. Look, look. I don't look, I am not really from the Caribbean, so I believe you a hundred thousand percent. Um I'm just calling it what I learned it as, jackfruit. But I could see that. Breadfruit, that might be a good idea. So is it breadfruit? The, what is the taste of breadfruit? I guess I should so that's what they call it, breadfruit. They call jackfruit breadfruit. Okay. And Yeshiva Cobra McDuffie. Yes, we will sing happy birthday to your grandmother who was 90. Your mother, my bad, who was 97 today. Ooh, happy was, birthday, mama. Happy birthday. Wow. Definitely. We get, we get a happy birthday song in before this thing is over. I'm, think, I'm thinking. Um, Another good cool thing to do if you want to save a little time is you can squeeze it out um squeeze any excess liquid out of there um i'm trying to do this quickly and i probably will squeeze a little more liquid out of this since we had it in water and we didn't add any flavor by adding water but we are going to pan sear it for a while so i'm really not concerned about the excess water being in here that will evaporate and Aisha Evans, yes, you can season it like meat. Jackfruit is a thick, blank canvas. Really, technically, definitely is. Um, we've done, um, um, well, I'm trying to think of some of the stuff. I don't know why I'm going blank. We've done uh, crab cakes with it. We've done jerk, um, jerk uh, chicken wraps with it. Um, what else, babe? What am I missing? What happened? I'm, like, I'm trying to think of what else we use jackfruit for. And Thomas Scott, welcome. First time viewer. Quesadillas, of course, tacos. So we got jackfruit. Maybe we'll do another jackfruit recipe this week. Just since you guys are interested in jackfruit. 
and Anita and I is trying to trying to do as little meat this week as possible since we've been really bad lately. We've been really bad lately. And Henrietta Walden, thank you for the 50 stars. I think I missed you, Mark. Is it Maritine, I think it was? I think you gave um, stars too, but I think I might have missed your name. Okay. So this is what we want right here. Darn, you can give them a close-up if you like. Okay, and Wendy J. Blackman says, no, it's not breadfruit. The shape and consistency is different. It's oh. kind of similar to sour sour sop. Hmm, okay. Look, y'all, y'all, do you see hey, what I'm saying? I don't, know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. All I know is I've been using it for a couple of years and only know it as jackfruit. Um, I can't tell you about the other things that I don't know. Can't see Courtney? Can't see Corey, keep your bed on, bro. It ain't time to eat yet. Keep your bed on. <laughs> but when it's ready, we'll let you know. Okay. Super yeah. simple. It's a little naked flesh right now. Yeah, that's pretty much as, as, as how it is right here. It's really fleshy, really uh, fibrous, and it's really really a good substitute. It really is a good substitute. So now we're going to start adding some flavor to this bad boy. But we're going to start by getting our onions cooked down a bit. All right? How you doing, Tyrone Let's Samuels? Shakita Cross. Thank you for the 200 stars. A little onion in here. Um, this is cool. Um, this is probably a good first vegan dish to make if you've decided to start doing anything that's vegan and you just don't trust nothing else or you don't want to go in, in the store and, and buy something. This is a, a good home cooked vegan dish that you can do for your family. They'll love it. We've done it for our family and they've eaten it. Even ones that are like, I ain't eating none of that vegan stuff. They've, they've eaten this and they were fine. They, they lived, I guess I should say. Benita Brooks, thank you for the 100 stars. Thank you guys all that are giving stars. It means a lot to thank us. Thank you for the shares. And thanks for the shares, mm -hmm. definitely. And thanks for the orders. You guys know we thank you for everything. Um, the the knife, um, the knives are should be to us. They're in Cincinnati now. They've gotten on over to the U.S. So our knife shipment should be here by the 24th. Okay. So if you guys are ordering our knife sets, they will be shipped out on the 24th when we receive them. And Nicola Jenneret, sorry that you're having trouble with the website, but try it again a little bit later and it'll definitely be up and working. Well, the, the website is up and working. The problem is a lot of people are getting, there's links that are still out there that are taking them for some reason to our old website. I don't understand how that's even happening. If you see a picture of Anita and I on the website, that is our old website. We don't have a picture of ourselves on our new website. So we need to go in and um, type in, just don't follow a link, type in cookingwithgreensfamily.com and you should, it should take you to our site. If not, we'll give you a hand, just hit us up. So we're getting a little caramel. And on this everybody keeps asking, the jackfruit tastes like what you make it taste like. Exactly. Somebody's asking what yeah. it tastes like. Like take a marshmallow stage, and put stuff like in it. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing. So whatever you season it like, that's what it's going to taste like. Oh, these onions by themselves already smell good. What's talking about? How you doing, Erica Epps? <laughs> okay. And I got a Velveeta Robinson asking, what seasons do you use to make it taste like chicken? Um, I use a uh, go-to, a little bit of umami blend, um, and herb blend when I when I make it. Well, follow our follow our something sound like a dog. dog. Just here. Outside, that's outside. Okay, but follow our recipes because I don't want to give you the wrong amounts of everything. Uh, we've already experimented for you, so you don't have to worry about oh man, I messed this thing up. We have the recipes for that, so. And the cutting board, we're going to put a link in the description for the cutting board. Okay, it's time we're short. Everybody asks about it. So we're going to put an affiliate link up for that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to find out how to get an affiliate link for them. Hopefully they have that as an option. Everybody doesn't have affiliate links, but hopefully they do. What is it? For all the spices, is what? 60? 60, yep. And shipping is from U.S. Postal Services for a box that will fit all the 17. It's 1505. So there you go, Miss Garden. It's generic. Yep. If, if that's ever about seventy-five for you, bucks for everything, you can still get any five for twenty dollars. That's still an, the ongoing joke 
where people are like, is that still on sale? Like, man, we kept saying, like, this is going to be a little while. That thing's been on sale like that for over a year, almost two years now. And Tita Aurora Marina Tillman, please don't fight us. We do not know that jackfruit and breadfruit are two different things. We are not from the Caribbean. Uh, I love my Caribbean people, though. She's about to fight, fight? Yeah, she's, uh, they, she's, I, I kind of felt the energy in her little sentence she's right like, there. It's not the <laughs> same. So let's get. And Louise Pinks will double check our cash app shortly. And if you got Anita Green name showed up, you send it to the right place. Oh, I know what happened with it. I used it. Duh, Derek. My, my mind was like, what happened to the... All right, so let's, let's go see ahead. Faith Parker from Gonzales, Louisiana. Okay. And if y'all don't know already, which y'all already should know, if you from Louisiana, preferably New Orleans or the Caribbean, I got none but love for you, like Heavy D used to say. All right, we're going to get this jackfruit flesh in here. I'm hoping you guys can Caldwell. see. Shaman Caldwell, thank you for the 37 stars. We appreciate all you guys that are actually donating to us. It means a lot. Um, you're not even donating to us. You're donating so we can help other people, so we appreciate that. It means a lot. So we got that jackfruit flesh in there. And again, when you get like pods like this, just just crush it with your thumb. Because you don't, you know, that texture, even though it's not gonna taste any differently, your 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 main your mind will be like, something is wrong here. Something is wrong here. So we're gonna get that in there. We're gonna go ahead and hit this with our Tex Mix blend. That's what we're putting in here. And some no salt. Onion, black pepper. So we're gonna get it in there. You want to definitely add Worcestershire sauce for flavor. And again, the recipe is on our website. You don't have to worry about it. A little red pepper flakes. Tammy Russia says that for real. I never knew that. She said, "Haven't tried it because haven't tried jackfruit because it says if you're allergic to latex, don't eat jackfruit." Never heard that one before. Yes, I know one on me too. Um, I'm gonna add a little liquid smoke in here. So we can now mimic that smoky flavor. We're gonna keep on with that theme by adding a little smoked paprika for color and also for flavor. And then last but not least, you gotta mimic that fat content in the meats that you are mimicking. So we're gonna add a little veggie oil, vegetable oil. Now we're just gonna go ahead and just fold it all in here. Lorna Bennett, are you eating after the Lorna cookie? Just curious. Lorna Dunes? Mm-hmm. Because she said jackfruit and breadfruit, two different thing. So apparently I know where she's from. Uh -huh. <laughs> with that so thing. There we go with our, our flesh of the jackfruit. And you can shred a little better. You can actually get a better shred um, that you, if you use a fork and just. Oh, this is not even a fork. Andrea Queen asks, how long do you boil the jackfruit? Uh, 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes. <clears throat> and then you just. Shred, 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 throw it in there. Shred, shred, shred. So you can use the fork. I just use my hand. So let's come over here to the stove because we're about to get this together. About to get it going. And jackfruit, you can find it. If you can't you find babe? it locally, you can find yes. it at Amazon, people. If you yep. need to, I'll put an affiliate link for that one too if you need us to. Our first um, cans of jackfruit that we ever tried when um, somebody asked us to try it out was for all from Amazon. Can't remember exactly how much it was, but we did buy it off Amazon. So what we're doing here is we're gonna heat this, we're gonna toast the, the spices, we're gonna get the fat and everything to cook it a little bit, and we're gonna get some caramelization. And again, we are mimicking uh, a meat. So you wanna, we wanna fool the, the eye and we wanna fool the tongue for texture. And, and Nancy Purvis Hyman says, vegans don't eat anything that consider an animal or that comes from an animal. True. And Nancy, that's true, but we're vegan-ish. Yeah, we're Add not. the I-S-H at the end, ish. Yeah, we're vegan like a couple of days <laughs> a week. That's, that's, really, that's really it. I mean, vegans consider anything with a face um, they won't eat. So they won't even have honey because that it comes from the bee. And I love honey, so um, I'm vegan-ish. But it, technically, if you want to be technical about it, um, flowers, plants have faces. Mm -hmm. So, 
I don't, I don't know if that's the official vegan, uh, this is why we don't do it, but that's what vegans have told me. Like, if it has a face, we can't have it. I don't care if it comes from anything that has a face. So I'm like, oh, you need to, um, Who's that? Check in. Anna Justinano? Thank you for the 100 stars. I won't butcher your name, but I think I did, though. Probably. If I did, don't hold it against me. And Caroline Butcherfield. I cooked some turnip greens, mustard greens, and Spanish mix with cornbread plus my... What? Okay. You're doing it up today. Right? But you already know, Caroline. If you don't know, now you do know. Where the picture at, though? James W. Kilton. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome all. So we're gonna get Granny right. Bacon, what's going on, <laughs> Granny? <laughs> Latosha Cartwell, I see you. Clara Moore, Bernadette Miller, okay. I can tell you it already smells good in here. Already smells good. And again, if you want a little more heat in there, you can you can chop, you can put a little more um, uh, um, pepper flakes in here. You can hit it with a little splash of sriracha. And I'm probably going to do that actually at the end when I when I can um, put my sandwich together. But um, yeah, it, there's a lot of ways to get exactly like you want. And Shanda Claxon, that's what I'm talking about. Talk about Daryl. I cook y'all shrimp, salmon, mushrooms, and tomatoes and cream sauce over orzo pasta. And yes, I posted a picture in the group. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, that exactly what that's what I'm about. talking about. Oh, definite. So I'm heating up my oil again because the blanched fries, we're going to get them back in there and finish them up so we can get some perfect fries going nice and uh, nice and soft in the middle when it's crispy on the outside. Okay, well, DJ Blackman, Young Trini guy, I'll see you. And Tina, Ro ooh, Tina Adams, I'm about to call you Royals, ain't no O in there. Tina Adams, you're welcome for the early reply, you're welcome. So we're getting a little bit of caramelization on there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Get them to zoom in if you, mm -hmm. if you um, don't mind, Daryl. And Latilla Cole Green said her family's having jackfruit tacos tonight for dinner. Look, excellent. If you do, if you don't know exactly how to make it, we have a recipe for that on our website. So go ahead and have at it. And Louise Phoenix, yes, that's the right name that should have showed up. Thank you for the donation, Louise. How you doing, Sheila Johnson from Galveston, Texas? Here. Speaking of Texas, how y'all doing out there in Texas? I heard it was flooding out there a little bit from the storm coming through. For Beta? I think it was Beta. Was it Beta? I think it was Beta, yeah. yeah. And Valerie Crowley from Philly. Welcome, newbie. Welcome. You're no longer a newbie. You're family now. Just don't touch my Kit Kats in the refrigerator and we good. <laughs> you, keep, you keep Kit Kats in the refrigerator? In the freezer? Yeah, I like, I like cold chocolate. Okay, look. I ain't mad at you, boy. I think I'm mad at you, I'm mad at all. Y'all look at that. Oh my god. And Bridget C. Oh Jefferson, you might want to ask the Caribbean people what jackfruit is, because I ain't trying to explain it wrong and get jumped when I leave out this house. Jackfruit is a tropical fruit. It is sweet in nature. Um, we are using young jackfruit, which is unripened, which is has no taste, but the consistency of meat. So, Jackfruit um, grows up to 100 pounds per fruit. Um, they uh, say that people actually have been murdered from jackfruit because the fruit fell off and hit them in the head and killed them. Oh, shoot, for real? Yeah. Yeah, I was reading some stuff about Jackfruit. And Lorna Bennett, I thought she was Jamaican. I ain't gonna lie, because my friend, she's Jamaican. Her name is the same, Lorna. So that's why I asked you that, because she was named after the actual cookie. Lorna Bennett. Yep. <laughs> Jackfruit. Lisa Sullivan, now you know what it is. There you go. So in an unripened state, it's not sweet, but and it tastes like whatever you season it with. So guess what we season it with? We're gonna make it taste like barbecue pork or chicken. And chicken if you will. So once we start getting it about here, and I'm gonna let mine cook a little bit more. 
we're going to go ahead and thanks babe we're going to go ahead and add the barbecue sauce in here and then we're going to have it perfectly done i'm going to heat the barbecue sauce up and uh, just enough i'm not going to try to burn it or anything and then we can start constructing our sandwiches I don't know if I got a clean Francine Gasaway. I think I had to do that open. So. Right, so how are we doing? I said she's going to order the t shirts, the spices, the knives on tomorrow. And yes, they're going to be some Christmas gifts as well. Yeah, I love absolutely. everything y'all have. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you supporting us. Um, the knives will be here probably by the 24th. That's what um, DHL says. So. We're looking for them to be here about that time. Lydia Hardy, I don't know. Because me personally, if it got a face, I'm probably going to chop it up anyway. So I don't know. What? What are you talking about? Talk about vegans and that stuff for the face. Oh. Most things I eat got a face. So, this is what yeah. I want right here. See what they are? Yeah. And Tasha Simmons well, Rice 50 for the 50 some stars. Some of that in there. Uh -huh. See that caramelization? A little bit of that too. And those onion shreds and the shreds of the... Uh, Jackfruit meat are perfect. I'm gonna start going ahead and adding. How you doing, Betty White? Hey, Betty White. You tell my head I think of the star. Yeah. Hey, uh, Betty White. How you doing, Jamila Eldabaz? Vicky Wright Allen, thank you for the 25 stars. And we have a recipe for barbecue sauce on our website also. And if y'all ask me what jackfruit is now that's late in the game, I'm kind of scrolling past y'all. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It might just came in there. It might just came in. Jackfruit is a fruit. I, I, I'll say it. I'll say it. Just, <laughs> just say, Dad, you need to tell me what jackfruit is again. <laughs> it is a fruit that in its young, unripened state can be made to mimic meat. That's I'm, I'm making this. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the Cliff Notes version now. And don't Alexander write. That looks like barbecue trick the eyes and mouth. Exactly. Yep. Let me just smash these tea pods. They really don't do anything except mess up the uh, illusion of it being meat. You can take them out. When I first started doing it, I just threw them away. And there's a waste of fiber. I'm just like, you know what? I'm, I'm throwing those bad boys in there. And Dora Alexander, thank okay. you for the 100 stars. So well, now we got a nice, it smells mm. delicious. Smell that down. You can't put this. Is your smell working today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all see that? And Yvonne Havers junk. Stay safe out there oh, in Houston. Houston. Oh. Really, Mom? <laughs> we'll be back for technical difficulties right after these commercial breaks. <laughs> Nito is burning down the house, Jesus. He's burning down the house. Oh. Burning down the house! <laughs> Well, this is how people's little grandmas and stuff get killed. Um, you know, the grandma had a fire at the house. She right? Was cooking french fries. See, oh, players mess true. up too. Players mess up too. Uh -huh. um, Yvette Holmes Pryor. If I'm not mistaken, the star should be at the bottom of your screen where you type it. Swipe it to the, I think, the left, I believe. And the star should show up over there somewhere. If I'm wrong, somebody, one of our faithful followers would definitely help you out with that. Let's see what our, our slaw we made is looking like. Um, of course, again, the longer you allow that to pickle, the better. It's going to be better even tomorrow. But we need a little just to, just to top our sandwiches with. And you're rather costly. Welcome, newbie from Tampa, Florida. Hopefully I said taste. your name right. If not, please correct me. Guess yeah, Tammy Rush, the little mom dukes. She over there cooking right now. Trying not to burn that mouth up. Mm. 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 Muffy mm. Wilson. That looks delicious. I cook steamed cabbage with smoked turkey necks, sweet potatoes, baked chicken, and honey cornbread. Yum. Muffy, oh. Muffy, Muffy. Who are you me. trying to feed? A small Muffy. army? Muffy, you cook, that cook, just sounds good. Cook, cook, it's Tuesday. But Muffy, oh, Muffy, Muffy, darling, where's the picture at, though? And that's man. all I want to know. Where the picture at? Dag Melissa, saying? you out there too, Melissa Petros? I told her North Houston is flooding too. Wow. What? Yeah, that storm out there. B Betty, Better, whatever it is. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Beta. 
How you doing, Luana Evans? Oh, that's Luana. That's Jan's friend. I gotta, I gotta fill those, um, that pink Himalayan sea salt, uh, Daphne Cage, thank you. you I appreciate right that for no. the instructions. Thank you. I'm gonna take this out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and toast those buns. How you doing, Bridget A. Harris? <laughs> Toasted buns were demanded. Christine Wright, thank you for the 50 stars. Someone demanded it. How did that demand? Demanded it. And Francis Gasoy asked, are the knives still $75? They are until the, the probably to the 24th. Because um, that's when the new ones are coming. And I told people that when the new ones come, we're going to go back to regular price. We've never been to regular price, actually. We're going to go to regular price, I guess is what I should say. <coughs> How you doing, Kara Blackman? Is that Kara Blackman or Kara Blackman? So let me make sure I get it right, because I know both that use the same spelling. How you doing, Teresha Sloshenberg? Oh, Schollenberg, my bad. I added too many letters in your name. You just went crazy with it. I kind of know somebody named Sloshenberg. That's why I work with them. She was like, the what? The what? That is not my name, Daryl. And Cassandra Huff asked, can someone tell me his step for the perfect fries? Did he say blanch them? Yeah, well, yeah. The, the perfect fries. Super, super simple. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to cut the fries, of course. You will put it in cold water. Rinse them a couple of times, then put them in cold water, and and let them rinse sit in the, the fridge. Starch. Yeah, to rinse out starch, and actually the cold water also allow it to be less starchy too. Put them in cold water in the fridge. So cover the fries with water. Leave them in the fridge for about two hours. Two hours, even more if you want to. Um, once you do that, drain them out. Pat them dry because you don't want to put wet fries into grease. Um, get your grease to about 300 degrees, okay? So like a medium high, a medium, medium high temperature. Um, you want to cook them really fast. Five minutes, take them out, drain them. Let your grease get up to um, a higher temperature, almost 400 degrees. Um, you want to drop them back in there and they'll come out perfectly. Err time, err time. And Christina Wright, support badges for our viewers would definitely be a good idea. Support badges, um, we are we have to figure out something with Facebook. They haven't um, let us know how we can get our support badges yet. That's something I was looking at uh, for supporters, and it's a good way to help promote our, our, our uh, channel. I just don't know how we can do it yet. So as soon as I find out, I will we will put them up. You know we don't have a problem with that. So let's get a little plant-based butter. Okay. Sandra Carter says, okay, it. Good evening, my favorite primetime family. What's up, Always look forward to seeing you all. By the way, I love your name, Anita, because it's my middle name. Wow. And I love your hair. Wow. I should have waited to see what y'all were cooking because I had a taste for pulled pork sandwiches, which I got really? from Corky's. But y'all version would have been healthier. It's, it's definitely going <laughs> to be healthier. I'm going to tell you right now. It's definitely going to be healthier. Let's say for definite, it's going to be healthy. Well, let's get these guys out of the way. I'm going to have to start building plates in a sec. Oh, okay. Lisa Sullivan brought up, I guess, something she searched about jackfruit. Okay, what, what you got? Oof, I don't know if I Let want to read know, this Lisa one. Sullivan. It says, why is jackfruit bad for humans? Oh, Risk Lord. of eating oh, jackfruit, Lord. right? Oh, right? Lord. Oof. oh, Lord Jesus. Why, why, why? Certain people are allergic to it, especially those who are allergic to birch pollen. Moreover, due to the potential to lower blood sugar levels, individuals with diabetes may need to have their medication doses change if they eat this fruit on a regular basis. From Ab a study, January absolutely. 26, 2018. Ab absolutely, because there's no carbs. That's anything you eat that's going to be zero carbs, zero sugars. Yes, yes, I agree with you. So it's it's again like we eat like we always eat again if it's a if it's an allergic thing yeah definitely um, fish used to do that to me like I couldn't eat fish it would kill me but if I told y'all don't eat fish because you could get killed and then I didn't tell you anything else about it you'd be like what because I had an allergy to it and again if you have uh, if you're diabetic yeah yeah there's certain things that you have to have balance just like anybody else so it's all in balance so I will read that I know you sent me the link I'm sure. 
So we're gonna read that and, 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 and get you some more information on that. Let's Antoinette Curtis, you gave a suggestion? Thank you, Antoinette. What was the, what was the suggestion? No, she said yesterday we should cook this. Yesterday she mentioned it. I believe I did read that too. Oh, did she ask us to make this yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because somebody asked us to make um, the uh, shrimp Alfredo the other day too. So we actually um, made that because of them. So we got some butter in the pan. The pan's super hot. We're just getting a little toast on the inside. That's all. And then we're going to start making this bad boy into a thing. It's gonna be a thing. You know what? Let me make a little bit of sauce to drizzle on that. Let no, Lisa Sullivan, you can make it taste like pulled pork. Yeah. Because this jackfruit is a plain slate. Yeah. Whatever you season it with, add to it, it'll take on that characteristic of the flavors. Yes, yeah, it does. So I'm gonna just melt down a little bit of plant-based butter in the mic real quick. We're gonna make a little drizzle sauce for this. Jocelyn D'Amato, new from Daytona Beach, Florida. Well. Now Welcome you're part of the family baby. now. Welcome, baby. So, you're gonna get a little come on bit. through, grab a plate, grab something to drink, and relax. Apple cider vinegar, I just got a little bit. I think I got another bottle somewhere. We're gonna get some barbecue sauce. And Nicole McFerrin from Shot Town, new viewer as Ooh, well. Oh, welcome, oh, welcome. You are much. definitely family now. I don't need to boil it. And Tracy Durham, thank you for the 50 stars. Angelina Sims Clark, how you doing? And Anita Jackson, we are doing just fine today on this weird weather. Because it was like 59 when I woke up this morning. Wow. It was like 71 by the afternoon. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to think. Uh, that, that, little of that. And Rose Wilson, so we good. have not finalized that yet, but it's a possibility. She asked, are you guys doing vegan this week? Yeah, I think we are going to do vegan this week. Yeah, we trying do. sounds good. Trying <laughs> we trying to see what we can do. So I'm going to add a little bit of stone ground mustard to and Miss this. Trish Thompson, thank you for the 50 stars. A Let's little bit up. of apple cider vinegar, and this is melted plant-based butter. And a little, a lot of actually, of um, barbecue sauce. Uh, I'll show it for you. Yeah. Just type nah. You must be country. So the put and get it right now. She put N I E. I know she must get be right country. Now. Get right now. <laughs> she country, country. She from down now. She from down now. That's how they say it there. Daryl. You from down now. Marcella Dennis has got double down, double fried them fries to get them out perfect. She from now now. Okay, thank you, um, Teresa Schallenberger. Okay, or Schellenberger. Good stuff. I'm gonna warm this up a little bit. I should have warmed up my barbecue. And the snatter. I'm gonna have to check that out. And the slatter suggested that you can go into your settings and turn them on, the badges. So we'll check that out. Um, Michelle Forrester, that's a good question. What kind of slaw is that? I forgot. That's a regular coleslaw. Okay, this is regular, regular coleslaw. coleslaw. I have a recipe for it on the website. Okay, just so it was we a celery slaw. slaw. No, that wasn't <coughs> celery slaw. Celery mm -hmm. slaw we made the other day, so. <laughs> really, Joseph Harris? Really? You, you had to be the one to start it. Joseph Harris is on the Do Not Disturb list now. He said, Hey, Green's family, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> So now my mama got you on her list now, Joseph Harris. You want the list? Oh, I'm Needed one of them toasted toasted. Because I was trying to get over here and I left them in the pan. That's okay. Man. Honey. How you doing, Gwendolyn Johnson? No way. That's the bottom. That's the bottom. That's the top. 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 Okay. And I got a Cindy David okay. Compton asking. Is the salt-free seasonings vegan? Yes, ma'am. Yes, they certainly are. 
Oh, you know I need some hot chocolate. And I got a Karita Adams asking, where's my plate? Look, come on, knock on the door. <laughs> we got you. We got you, boo. Knock on the door. We got you covered. Don't, don't, don't mind that scary eyeball right there, but the door next to it, there you go. Go to that door. Uh, I got my uh, picture. <laughs> you doing yours for the picture? Um, I guess, yeah. How you doing, D. D Mitchell Harris? How you doing? D. Michelle Harris, my follow. I'm Pamela German, see you too. Uh, what you got? I'm trying to understand this little Barbecue baby, spaghetti? <laughs> I don't think I've had barbecue spaghetti <laughs> before, though. That's how they came. You see what they look yeah. like? We should have just got regular rolls, like I said. I just grabbed the first thing I saw in the grocery store. I was like, ooh. Allie yeah. Whelan's watching from New Zealand. New I can't Zealand wait to go to New Zealand, actually. I definitely want to go. Squeeze. I don't know why it's not coming out freely. Um, Tanya Stokes asks, what is plant-based butter? Plant-based butter is a butter that does not use dairy product. So, um, usually made with a, um, a healthier fat, like avocado or olive oil, that kind of thing. Really? So y'all feel? Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get my fries and stuff. Um, 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 uh. Lisa Sullivan, the weather is bad in South Carolina too? Okay, y'all stay safe out there. And Sabrina Ree watching from Lu Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe, Louisiana. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna need a couple more uh, sliders on my plate, probably. Make just to make them Nivian Williams. We are yeah, we're definitely gonna be here at least once a day more often though. We just let y'all know ahead of time what we can. So we're glad to have you here too for our live. We're glad to have you here. Okay, sure. Crystal Ash, welcome from Pennsylvania. Welcome all the newbies. This thing stop glitching. Welcome to the family too. Uh, y'all see that? Y'all see, see that? Indiana. Pulled pork. Jackfruit pulled pork. Man, mm -hmm. come on now. Come on now. Asha Whitfield. Nope. Nope, little country. Nope. You started it. What? Because I keep having little jokes for her. How you doing, Sue Stewart? Robert Epps. We see you, Robert Epps. That's my cousin. That's uh, that's grandma's cousin, which means it's my it's my cousin. I'm trying to I'm trying yeah, to make it halfway phone. decent looking. Joshua it's Bishop, to see you too, Joshua. And I got a Dana Shivers. Okay. <laughs> Seen the ladybug got perfect taste. Says she like that maple bacon blend. Yes, that's good. A lot of people love that. Catch up on the fries. How you doing, Joseph Advance? We appreciate that. We appreciate that, sir. Becky Blue Jacket, we see you watching. So you gotta do and Teresa Schollenberger, yes, that is the next move. A bigger, bigger the kitchen. The bread, up. the bread is up higher. That's why I need more. Laney Irvin, welcome, first time viewer. Come on, get a plate. Now that your family, come on through the VA. The weather's pretty decent right now. Oh, this thing is not trying to act right, y'all. We don't. We're not gonna do a pretty picture today. That's all. We trying though. The devil is fighting against us. The devil and Trinice Price, thank you for the fifty stars. And people, you can buy the jackfruit on Amazon. If you can't find it in your local area, Amazon will deliver it. It might even bring you a whole tree if you ask them right. How you doing, Lawrence Batty from Chicago? Got a Jennifer Evans. Okay. Naisha Ware from Houston. Be safe out there in Houston, people. Oh, and if y'all in Houston, oh, I forgot the name of it. 
there's a drive-in theater out there my man was telling me about. That's pretty nice. They got food trucks out there. Drive-in theater. They got a DJ out there, too, that plays music between the movies. If I remember the name of the site, I'll post it, but I remember it offhand, though. But it's in Houston, though. All right, Daryl, one of these is yours, so <laughs> I was just showing off, the, making the plate bigger. Oh, cool. So, that, so one of these is yours. We can, make, we can toast some more bread if we need to. June Dane Stasher from Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Tonya Stokes, please check it out. We got a bunch of recipes on the site. Try whatever you want to try. Migos Good from Chicago. I see you. The Migos. <laughs> Seen a ladybug. Yes, Darlene is missing out. She always missing out lately. I don't know what she's doing. She's working too much. Oh, that's not with her. Shame and call. Well, you got good taste too. Maple bacon blend is my favorite. I see you. Gaston Kamisha from Texas. Okay. Yes, coleslaw and barbecue sandwiches is fire. She know. What's going on, Stella Jack? Joseph Harris, I see you. All right, Daryl, there you go. I don't know if you like that. And Jonetta Bender asked about, are we going to do fried plantain? I love plantain. You know, maybe we'll try that this week. See, I don't, I don't like that smash and go. I don't like smash and go. But I like when they take the plant and they smash it, I um, deep do, fry it. I, I don't like do that one. I like I the regular. Like when they cut it in the quarters and it's with good. A, with, a, with, a, with a recipe for plantain. And Jackie Ellis, I'll, thank you for the 50 stars. Okay. I need to go ahead and try this. Mm-hmm. Man, you must have read it or you good? I'm good. I need some more. And Mika, what's that? Fatrell? I hope I mess your name up, Mika. From North Carolina. Thank you for the view. We appreciate that. Make yourself at home. Thank you guys for the stars, too. How are we doing on stars today? Um, got 3,112. That's cool. 3,112. That's $31.12. That's awesome. Somebody. All right, so let me go ahead and get down to my prayer so I can try this out and let you know how it is. All right, and Kimberly Brown, you could put the maple bacon, <laughs> the maple bacon blend on anything you want. Boom. Okay, let's get these little sliders going here. Uh huh. A little extra toasty. Yeah, we sure gotta. Mm 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 mm. Lydia Hardy, mm -hmm. thank you for the 1,200 stars, Miss Lady. Mm -hmm. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. And we Margarita Forrest, that's, that's for dinner right there. Jackfruit sliders and some perfect fries. Somebody said to me. Overly um, topped with ketchup. Ugh. Today or yesterday? Somebody said to me. It was like, you guys eat so good, but I noticed you don't eat a lot. That's the key. <laughs> Gluttony make, is not good for you. Your serving size is smaller, and you can eat almost anything. Not all the time, but when you feel like, I feel like having that. You can have it. You just don't have to have a, don't eat, eat to live, don't eat to get full. Moderation is key. Mm -hmm. And the key is moderation. Super simple. Oh, we got some happy birthday, don't we? Yep. How you doing, Jackie Ellis? Oh, yeah, that's strong enough. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I almost had to ask you to open it down. Hassan Haas Hampton, how you doing? Haas, what up, man? I miss you guys. I'm going to butcher your name so bad, but I don't want to do it to you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What's that? Adulez Guerrero de Dios. Huh? It looked like a Spanish. Adulez Guerrero de Dios. If I butcher that, I apologize in advance. Rosie Holloway from Ooh, Kentucky. Mmm, <laughs> y'all. This right here, this pork pork slider. Liz Jones, exactly. how you doing? Mmm, mmm. Stop eating. And <laughs> Teresa Schollenberger, yes, the fries are perfectly crunchy. Mmm, mmm. Tracy Belly, thank you okay. for all the hearts. Happy Rosemary birthday. Jimenez, how you doing? That dang is banging. Okay. All 
right. And Linda Elk, you didn't miss anything. You got here, you here, so you good. I'm about to take the cameraman's camera from so he can try it. Oh. And happy birthday, know. though. Okay. You ready? You want to dance. That's why you're standing there. Exactly. That's how I did this. <laughs> I already know enough. Go ahead, stretch. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Johnita Bender. Yeah, last name, I ain't, I'm going to mess it up though. Asu, Asu Muga, I'm not sure. A S O M U G H A. Asu Muga. See? All right, so we're start Bader, I got the first with part. Happy yeah, birthday yeah. for all the birthdays that we had today, that we had in the last couple of days. Um, in September. Yep. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choir direct you guys, so follow my lead. Yeah. One, two, three. Run. And mm, right. Say, happy birthday to you. And then this means what? Y'all can sing at home too. And then this means stop, okay? We got Daryl, we got Nita. It's gonna be a full choir. It's gonna be so good and full of the sound, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear family. Yeah, I don't hear you. Cuz, I got <laughs> I gotta feel it. I gotta feel it. Happy birthday to <laughs> to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy See, birthday you go. to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Woo! Exactly. It's like I can't wait to see Dina's face. You had, you had a stripper for your birthday, cause I'm looking literally. <laughs> You had a dancer. Just say I was exotic dancing. That's all. That's what he's drinking oh. for right there. It, and it's, it is virgin and he's drinking this, okay? Oh, that's just him naturally. Oh, that's just him naturally. <laughs> what am I drinking? No, I said, what am I drinking? That's, it's, it's a virgin mm, blend. That's good. Lydia Hardy, we have 3,212, mm. Miss Lady. Mm, 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 mm. Sandra Foster, yes, he did say grace. Yes, I did. Linda Elick, thank you for the 100 stars. Oh. I'm just judging my husband. <laughs> and Tracy Dorman said those teas are so hard to open. So I guess she gave you an excuse. That was hard, bro. What's up, sis? AJ Green. Mm -hmm. Belinda Gurley, mm -hmm. I see you. Yes, my dad thinks oh. he's funny. Yes, he does. Let me let you try, Dad. Your food getting cold, bro. Ho, ho, ho. You gotta give, you gotta give them um. Give them a tasty taste. Mmm, -hmm, y'all. Mm -hmm. Jesus Lord. What do you think, Dad? Well, let me know. That. Now you say you're so you would hate them. I'm a heathen. God, don't stop that. Though. We gotta get rid of him. We gotta get rid of him. I don't survive war. I'm good. I what you think now? I what I, I what you I what you think now? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. You think uh, we didn't tell you Somewhere that was not that good. was not all plant based? You would know. Oh yeah, I wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. I would think it's I would think it's like the not the meatiest part of the pork, but like the chicken. like the edge of the pork, or like yeah. chicken maybe. You told me it was a pork slider. I'm like pork slider. It's not. It's not thick enough, but right. You still taste the meat in it though. Like it's a meaty taste to it, oh. and it tastes good. The season's a little bit of kick to it. You're not really gonna question it that much. Mm -mm. Right. Really not. Somebody said her face was just how I thought it would be. Love Nita. <laughs> <laughs> Nita be hating on my dance moves, no. boy. And what normally happens, guys, is I don't dance in public because people steal your moves, man. <laughs> People steal your moves. You gotta, you know, you gotta kind of reserve some of your moves for, you know, in private. 
Really? Cause I'm your private dancer. Dancer for money. Do what you want me to do. Mm, I'm good back with that boy. Man, yo, that was so good. I know Jay, I know my my daughter Jay was in here hyping me up. She's like, kill him with the shoulder, Dad. Kill him. <laughs> Jennifer was like, kill him with the shoulder. Right Y'all are the bad. And look, we got 9,662 stars. Y'all are the real MVP. That's $96.62. Guess what? We gonna have we're gonna be able to help four more people out. Yes, we talk, we're gonna we be able to help a whole people. I hate turning people away. Uh, Yeshiva said, our mother said, thank you for the birthday song. Happy birthday. Yeshiva, you got to show her my dance move. <laughs> Yeshiva. <laughs> Yeshiva, tell her hit me up in my, you know, my messenger. I got her. I got her. I got her. I got her with the sexy dance. Uh, Lydia said a 50 stars. Thank you. Pat said 50. Lydia said another 6,350. Thank you so much, Lydia. Um, they say my table is also always so set up perfectly. You was a lie. Uh -oh. Look at them. Look at them things sitting up there. Right look at it. Oh Lord, it's a mess. And what happened after we clean up and we know nobody ain't coming by, we just kind of leave it like this till tomorrow and then throw, yeah. throw all the stuff in the dishwasher and then it's time to go again and it looks exactly like this. So we're gonna be we're gonna be better. We're gonna be fixing it all up. We're gonna be fixing it all up. Jay said, "Hey, sexy midgetness." <laughs> They said, don't eat those fingers now. Mm -hmm. oh, Shana sent us 50, uh, 50 stars. Thank y'all so much. Man, what does Daryl's shirt say? No. Do me, I, I no, I say, do, do me a favor and stop talking. Terrible, terrible. Can I get one of them? Yeah, but, <laughs> babe, you ain't wearing that around me. Is that, why, is that why you wearing that around me? Oh. Y'all see, y'all see. Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> <laughs> that shirt. I know people like, what's that? What's that scary face in the background? That was my painting I did the other day. <laughs> I'm practicing being a painter. He just bought an easel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten dollars. They said Daryl looks like you, Derek. He looks good. I see you, young man. You slimmed out. Uh, Juanita, you see my moves, Juanita? Juanita, I, bro, I could probably be an anxiety dancer if I felt like it. Ooh, if I felt like it right now, I feel like it. That's all you know, I'm saying. I know, I know. We have a whole lot of silver dollars. Uh -huh. Love you guys, man. So, need us. <laughs> wow, Daryl. I have a lot of silver dollars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Jay said, oh, Lord, bye, Dad. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> We love you guys, um, and guess what? We're gonna be back tomorrow. I'm, we're gonna figure out something to make. I was toying My around. Wife made a whole list of things. She made a list yep. of things, and I'm kind of covering some of them. But I, you know me, I like to do some stuff that we never did before. So we might be doing some stuff we never did before. I'm gonna show you the neatest list that we, of things that. we might be doing. You don't want to see it? No. Why not, babe? No. You want to be surprised? No. So if we, women, women. So, women. So, <laughs> need, need, so if, so if we decide to, to cheat one day, it don't look like we got to, mm -hmm. oh, oh, I get it. You're supposed to whisper that, though. You just told the whole world. Oh, shoot. My bad. My bad. What do you think, Daryl? I see you. Don't, somebody said don't bite your fingers. <laughs> yeah, look, bro, I feel like it's a regular mm -hmm. Bruh, the, I said sliders. Then you feel like you, you ain't ate that much. <laughs> Is that what you feel? So, guys, we're going to um, let you guys go, if you don't mind. And we will be back tomorrow with um, dinner, because that's what oh, we do. Oh, yeah, my nephew Tony's coming, and we're going to do a dinner to together. And we'll figure out something to do. And my, to my, my nephew Tony, he's um, the guy who comes every once in a while. He's my, my sister Darlene's son. And he does all the vegan foods. Mm -hmm. He's a vegan chef, so he we has a, a um, catering thing that has vegan beets. Yeah, he does um, vegan. He sells dinner. Yeah, meal. What do you call that? Meal planning or whatever. Oh yeah. He does that too. So he will be. Um, 
Grace He'll be here tomorrow, tomorrow, and we will figure something out together. Then we'll do another vegan meal tomorrow. How about that? So we love you guys, but we'll make it delicious. We're going to make it fun. And we're going to make it something that you're going to want to have for your... your um, somebody says, Nina says, sit your happy ad. <laughs> I did not. I said, have yourself. She might have been thinking that, though. They, they said, A-A-A-H-H-H-H-H. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. We love, love. They said Nita's the boss. What she says going. Y'all say I slept, sat down. <laughs> <laughs> but I took my time. <laughs> sit down somewhere. Sit, sit yourself down. Go sit down somewhere. Well, we love you guys, man. We will see y'all again tomorrow. Happy birthday to everyone. Anyone that needs to contact us, um, hit us up on our messenger. Um, if you're having any issues with your ordering or you want to help help ordering, we answer the phone and we will give you a hand. All right. So thank y'all so much. And these French fries, are so good. We love y'all. And we'll see you again. Thanks for being part of our family. Does Daryl have a cast yet? Yes, he does. Daryl, you better get a tip. I just made that joke too, because I had to. What is it? It's um, dollar sign Jonerez. That that's not helping anybody, bro. You got to spell. How did I spell it? J O N E R. E-S, if I'm not mistaken. J-O-N-E-R-E-S? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right, so you got that. So everybody... Let me check. Hold on, let me check, people. You about to get a cameraman tip all up in this piece, Bob. I'm going to make sure it's right. You about to get a cameraman tip. And happy birthday, uh, belated birthday to Courtney. I think we said something yesterday, right? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. During the live, yeah. For I spelled birthday. it wrong. It's J O N E R A S. J O N E R A S. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. J O N. Okay. Kiki, thank you so much for the 50 stars. Joe B. Bishop says, someone please tell Bernadette how to get her seasoning. Um, you Bernadette. Okay, Joe Bishop is uh, gifting somebody some seasoning. So it definitely Are messes sure? us. Uh, Joe Bishop said it. Joe Bishop said it. He said, Joe Bishop said it on this live. So I've seen that one. So, you know, people would be like, Joe said, Joe said, I got seasoning. And Joe's like, I didn't tell nobody nothing season. Just message us with your email. And I'm sorry. Yeah, your email also and your mailing address and which five blends. Okay. Derek, you need a page to help keep men keep their wives laughing. You're hilarious. Look, just go, go to my regular page. She can't stand it sometimes, but she love it too at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know you're really mad when she can't stand it, but she love it. I love you. Oh, you so my girl, girl. I'm about to love you. That's part of it, though. Yeah, I love I'm about to like come over there and kiss so you good. on your face. Ooh, don't blush in front of the people. Because you know you want it, girl. You know you want it, girl. You know oh you want it. Oh, look at look. She turned it red, y'all. <laughs> she turned it red. So you know you want that sexual chocolate. So um, I'm going to let you guys go. Jay Green said, from our hearts to your plates. <laughs> ah, you got she it. Got it right. ah, she, she figured it. Right. We gotta add, I gotta add something to it though. One more line or something. I know, like get on out of here. <laughs> get on out of here. All right, so we love you guys, man. We will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for spending the darn time with us. And uh, what I was gonna say something else. I don't know. I guess that's it. So sit your happy self down somewhere. <laughs> we'll see y'all tomorrow. Love you. <laughs>